Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the U.S. Metal TV podcast, and we're talking to heavy metal band Indulgence from Amsterdam. And uh, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're doing great, man. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for having us on the show. Indulgence has a new record out called Time of Grim Times or something like yeah. something grim on yeah, Headbangers grim. Records by from Marco Ampel. And um, yeah. as I heard, Torment, Business of Torment. Is that yeah. a new album? Yeah. That's a At the that's cool a video. Video. So the video clip, yeah. Cool video, yeah. I've seen a bunch of boys. Some of those shows are looking really huge. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you guys have been around since 1990s, since 94? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Is it the same lineup? No. No. No, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the band is typical with the lineup. Uh, yeah. One goes, the other one comes, and uh, oh, it's I, difficult. I, I know the story. Our drummer plays with Journey. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Journey? Yeah. 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 I, He's a great drummer. Anyway, your drummer is really amazing. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy. I, I like drummers. I held yeah. it. When I first met Dean Casanova, I, he was amazing. He was 16 years old. He could play like Neil Peart from Rush. That was back in 1981. Nope. And I thought, I got to get this guy out of this town and someplace big. You're in Amsterdam? No. Yeah, near to Amsterdam. Near, near, Amsterdam. near to Amsterdam, yeah. Which village or town? Uh, well, uh, I'm from Hillegom, so that's near Amsterdam. And the other guys are from uh, uh, Noordwijk and Scotswijk. New Venom. New Venom. Did you so say it's it? all nearby? All nearby. Did you say Imogen or am, am I Mountain? Is that Paul Van Weiswijk lives in? Uh, um, oh, he lives in Imoden. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. I stayed at oh. his house in uh, 2002, and we went yeah. to the, the the practice rehearsal was in a ammo bunker across from the sub bunker. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, there were so many great bands and drummers in that place. I was blown away. Great, right, cool. Anyway, so. When the when did the album come out? Last week? Yes, last yeah. week. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. It took we, a while. It took a while. Uh, it was a, a long process. Our our uh, bass, bass player uh, quit it <laughs> during the process of recording. He left. He left, and uh, well, we have a new uh, new one now. Uh, we had to all start it up again. Uh, guitar player James uh, filled in the bass uh, on the on the record. And uh, in the in the meantime, uh, we're, looking. We, we're looking for a bass player, and uh, we found one. It's a good one. He can <laughs> he can uh, he can go with us. So An old one. <laughs> you're, the, Back on the mat. you're the smiley guy holding the uh, destroyer or explorer guitar in that one picture, right? Mm -hmm. On YouTube, there's a picture of all of you, and you're smiling, and you're holding up a black explorer. I think a Dean. Guitar? Oh, no, no, no. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. The, Dean, the Dean is from Jack. Jack yeah. is over here. I'm here. Right here, man. Uh, there you go. <laughs> we talked before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you reviewed the album that I'm not on. Reign of Terror. Yeah. Yeah, you told me like went there. I'm Dr. Mastermind. Have you ever heard that album? I was on uh, Roadrunner. They're in Ein they were in Eindhoven. Mastermind? Dr. Yeah. Mastermind? Yes. No, oh, never heard. No, I didn't hear. I, I don't know them. Uh, much, yeah. much better album. Dean plays drums on that one too. <laughs> oh, cool. cool. So, what are you gonna? Okay. What do you got planned for the summer? Well, go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> go to that. Beach. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Well, for uh, us. Uh, uh, Marco from from Ampo is uh, is involved with us. Uh, he's uh, looking out uh, also to uh, to do some gigs. Uh, a tour coming up. We're gonna we got a little tour coming up, also with an uh, American band. What was the band called? Unholy something. Unholy. Unholy lost. Some kind of death metal band, but 
We don't care. We play. It's in progress. So, have you ever played Headbangers um, Open Air in Germany? No. No, no, no. 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 Oh, I but it's on the bucket list. But it's on the bucket list. Well, we, you know, Germany is coming up. Yeah. Are you playing Bakken? No, no Bakken. No. No, no. Not yet. I we got, hope to. I got asked to play it when it was like 500 people, just a biker party. That was a long time ago, mm -hmm. like yeah. 1998. Now it's gigantic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's huge. huge. It's always sold out. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. When the, when the, when the tickets are, uh, when, when, when the festival's over at Wacken, the, the, the next day when they, when they, when they they're gonna sell buy the tickets, ticket. it's, it's already sold out again. Yeah. So yeah. It's crazy. Popular. Yeah. Yeah. Germans are pretty crazy. I've, I played mm -hmm. in Hamburg outside, right down the street from Wacken at a, uh, metal forge place called, uh, Als Planet Alsen. And then Headbangers Open Air, and then after Hamburg, after that in Hamburg, with a band called Stone Cold Black. Do you know them? Thrash band? Mm hmm Yeah. The band's called Stone Cold Black from Hamburg. Okay. Okay. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's probably a while back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back in the days. Before, back in the days, man. Matt, no, they maybe just, before my time. We're not. They just put a record out uh, last oh, yeah, couple really? months ago. Yeah, I had them on the show. I'm going to check it. All right. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're great. Okay. They, they also okay. put a festival on called uh, Nightmare Over St. Pauli, and I played there. And uh, they put one on called the Rock Tower Festival. The singer did. And I hooked him up with mm -hmm. Paul Deano. Because on oh. Paul, De Paul Deano's myspace page it said if you, if you want to book the band contact me so i did and it was him and so i put Ooh. those two he can't come to the u.s <laughs> he had a little problem with cocaine and uh machine guns okay. and <laughs> yeah had a lot of problems that, that can cause us some problems <laughs> a lot of health problems too <laughs> not in amsterdam you can do anything you want <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> except take pictures of those. Times have changed in Hamburg and in Holland. Uh, except well, except take here. pictures of the red light. Here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is uh, weed still legal? Marijuana? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. It is here, too. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, I know. It's may, maybe better at your point where you live. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It keeps me happy. <laughs> I've never gotten too stoned and naked on weed, but on alcohol, many times. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe some, some other oh. times we go to the same thing. story. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't go just get naked for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, I'll tell you, going to Holland that that year, I'd never been out of the country until then, 2002. I didn't realize every country has their own music scene, and they don't sing in English. Yeah. The world does not revolve around the USA. <laughs> that was a wow, rude awakening. Oh, it doesn't? That's what they tell you. That's what they tell you here. And on Liberation mm -hmm. Day, I was there during on Liberation Day and Queen's birthday, and I thought, oh, yeah. they're gonna love me because I'm from America. And we go to, you know, they have concerts all over. We were in Utrecht and I went to a concert and saw Beef and the girl singer, uh, whatever her name is. Okay. But uh, there was Canadian flags everywhere. And I thought, why are they, why are the Canadian flags at? And then somebody said, the they were first. The Canadians, <laughs> the, the Canadians liberated us from the Nazis, and I thought, huh? They yeah. told us they told us in school that Canada didn't have an army and they didn't ever do anything. We didn't really? know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. America, the land of the free and the home of the stupid. <laughs> a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch, yeah. I learned yeah. more history from yeah. Paul going to Bunker Island than I did mm -hmm. in school. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, man, that place is amazing. The the gun turrets. They yeah. said they built mm -hmm. these to protect us from you. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, with all the, the, the little tunnels with rails in it, it was, it was, I was just blown away. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Since yeah. then, yeah, I, was, I haven't liked America ever since. <laughs> I, I seriously wanted to move, but um, you don't want Americans there <laughs> or Germany. They, uh, well, they, it costs way too why not? much. Uh, mm -hmm. they want they want you to visit and spend your money, but to move there, <laughs> you got to be really rich. <laughs> yeah. You are close, man. You are rich, rich no, man. I'm broke. I haven't no. worked. COVID. I used to work at a college and I delivered paper bo boxes of paper. I worked there for 20 mm -hmm. years and made minimum wage. And uh, COVID came. My job went away. Um, uh, later on that year, I got Bell's palsy, which made my mouth not talk so well. That's why I don't talk so well. And, uh, in 2021 on Christmas, the day before I had a stroke and that messed my Ooh. mouth up. So I'm sure there are people who are very happy that I can't talk as well as I used to, but that doesn't stop me. <laughs> I just sound like I'm a little bit drunk all the time, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. We, I got we a DUI. Huh? Huh? We still. We still. We can still talk to each other. Hey, you were on the other side of the world, and I. Uh, I love we it. Understand it. Perfectly. I love it. it makes me happy because I can't drive because I. Part of the deal with the, both the Bell's palsy and the stroke, it uh, ruined my eyes for what they bled. I burst my blood mm -hmm. vessels, so I, it bled my eyes. I finally this year I've been able to see properly, but I can't drive yet. That was my job, driving like a hundred miles a day, delivering mm -hmm. paper. But I don't miss it now. <laughs> all, people said you work too hard, you slack too much. <laughs> I should have listened to them. <laughs> but you guys are a rich rock band, right? You're <laughs> talking to me on your boat in the harbor. <laughs> when I found yeah, out, well, I, I found what, out what has money to do. What has money that got to do? We we are, we are a couple of crazy guys coming together, make some music, and that's the most important thing. Having uh, fun. Having fun uh, Making fun of each other and and making music that's that's yeah that's, that's how priceless. Old you, how old are you guys? I'm, I'm, I'm 59 almost. Old fools. Yeah, old. I'm 59 old. almost. Jack is old. old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a old trucker in, in this band. So I'm I'm 53. Just I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm, I know you don't say, but I'm 60. You can tell this valley. <laughs> you don't look oh a day God. over. Sixty-four, really? Day. Yeah, I'm just immature. Yeah. I don't have children. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps. That, that helps. helps a lot. <laughs> I have yeah. nothing that matches a flower diaper bag, so I didn't ever have kids. Okay. <laughs> I like making them better than taking care of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, 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 the practice. The practice. Trying to make. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the red light district and uh, <laughs> Amsterdam, when I was there, we were smoking a joint over on a bridge, and this cop came up to us and said, "You can't really smoke that here." And take my word for it, don't buy any drugs on out here. You must have friends here. Buy them from them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They'll sell you. They'll sell you. Up. They'll sell you fake Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> fake that's shit pretty, all pretty, the time. But the oh, oh, oh my god! Pushing powder. <laughs> I got into. We got into Schiphol. Schiphol. How do you say the airport? Schiphol. Yeah. Schiphol. Yeah. And a guy. Schiphol from the mentors that beat me there and so he got a bunch of weed and so he's waiting for me we're smoking a joint there 
And these cops mm-hmm. came out and said, you know, it's not really legal <laughs> again, but you're smoking weed out inside, outside of the police station. And he points to the side. <laughs> So go, <laughs> go outside. Do you see that giant screen out there? They're, they have a car race. Go watch the car race. You don't make it look bad that way. I thought, uh, okay. <laughs> people, people were really nicer, and I'd never been to a place. In America, if you have two people and there's a table for six, you'll take the two, two people at a table for six. But there... People just come and sit down. So, like, if you mm-hmm. know, yeah. yeah, I love that. I met so many great people, just you know, just friendly. In America, it's not like that. So, anyway, I like nope. that. I, I, you know, no, no, I know it's different. Yeah. No, you, in the movies, you don't know you. always America. Huh? In the movies, uh, I always uh, think America is uh, the land of the free and the. the it's all bullshit. The free thinkers and uh, yeah, I think that's Jack's right. It is all bullshit. Yeah, they just telling that oh, America is the most free country. It's like, well, then why Hell can no. you you can buy because we can have guns. Well, in Hamburg, yeah, you don't need you can, guns. You can buy a, a Glock pistol in a convenience mm-hmm. store. I'll have a six pack of beer, a Glock, and a sandwich, <laughs> and walk out of the store. And I thought, wow, nobody gets shot here. It's like <laughs> kids are bored. Well, we saw it in a video game. <laughs> So, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. happens. That that's, bullshit happens. Yeah. 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 A lot in the States. Yeah. But anyway, how long you guys have been, you've been together since grunge. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. 90, yeah. 94, that's when grunge was starting to real. I'm from where grunge happened, where it started. In Seattle. Like part of the, yeah, right below Seattle. Yeah. Portland. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You, you know your geography. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> really? He's been there. I've been there. Uh, Portland or Seattle? Yeah. No, Portland and Seattle later on, but did yeah. You, did you I've play been that? States a couple of times. Did you play? No, no, no. I believe no. Oh, I, you I stayed there with Chuck Billy from Testament. Oh. Wow. And with Willie from Last Rocket. Yeah. Yeah. I think we played the Last Rocket great time. Once. One time in yeah, these guys were awesome. That was San Francisco. That's where they live. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, six hundred miles from us. Dublin. That's where they live. We used to play there a lot. Yeah, with uh, yeah, I've been in Omni and Stone and all that. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, we played awesome. we played the Stone. On yeah, Broadway. It was really cool. It doesn't exist anymore. It sucks. No, it's a porno place. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we'll, okay. <laughs> What would you guys know about a porno house? <laughs> they don't have that in Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> God, oh, the worst thing I saw in the red light district, because, you know, you go walking through there at night, was this girl. He, she looked really young, and she was saying, help me. They're keeping me prisoner here. And she looked like about 14. And I thought, oh, this is oh my god, this has ruined the whole thing because some of them are really gorgeous. But mm-hmm. uh, that just yeah. okay. <laughs> Let's go get some weed at the uh, bulldog. The bulldog. Yeah. The bulldog. Yeah. yeah, that's a famous place. That's where all the Americans go. Yeah, yeah. That's where they rip you off. <laughs> 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 yeah. When I went there, I had fifty dollars. That's it. I had that's all I had to my that's name. It, really? to, to, but yeah, so they took care of me very well. Mm-hmm. Really cool. That's why you're from America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love Americans. <laughs> the, the land of the freeloader <laughs> and home of the slave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but Marco says the rent in in. Holland is in Tilburg is really expensive too. Where, yeah. yeah. How does Marco know that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess he's up on the uh, real estate. <laughs> Mar- Marco's such a great guy, and he's he, yeah, he yeah, was, he is fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. He does a lot of us for us. Yeah. 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 We we, we glad we glad that we met him. 
En hij uh, uh, tekent uh, onder his wing. En ja, hij treat tries. Hij uh, doet do shit voor ons. En ja. Ja, we doen shit voor hem. We doen shit voor hem, ja. Also, ja. Yeah. Very nice guy. Very nice uh, guy. Ja. Yeah. So, back to Grim Times. Is it, uh, is your mm-hmm. album on uh, any streaming sites or download like iTunes or Spotify? No, we're working on that. Uh, we're, uh, we're not uh, that uh, much on the social media. We try. We we gonna we gonna. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have yeah, to we do, have to. We have to do it now. It's yeah, in progress. Uh, it's in progress. Because in oh, the USA, probably. so far, my two big distributors have closed because nobody bought records. Nobody bought anything, so they had to close up, and a lot of them aren't not carrying physical products anymore. Well, here they start liking uh, final albums again, and yeah. even cassettes. Oh, they yeah. like them here. Oh. They just don't sell. Uh, we're working on that so to put our music also on, on Spotify and uh, iTunes and uh, stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, we are uh, we are really a little bit old school. Eh? We're old guys. So we uh, we like to have something physical in our hands. Old school. Also. And when you go to a promoter or something that you can give something from, hey, listen to this, instead of uh, you have to download this link uh, to listen to uh, my music, you know. Yeah, it's it's the time, I know, but we try to uh, stay a little bit old school. Did you ever play so, a, a gig with Hammerhawk? No, it's, uh, that was before our time. Uh, uh, we met uh, Paul uh, a couple of years ago, yeah. and uh, he do some stuff with uh, with the mentors also, eh? Right? So, yeah, yeah. When the when the mentors are in in Europe, then uh, he's playing also a guitar uh, for them. Yeah, but I, uh, Paul also a nice guy. But uh, that was before our time. Uh, we we never played a gig with uh, with Hammerhawk. No. Yeah, I th- I think Paul's mother died right before or yeah. during the tour this year. Paul yeah. just, I like Paul. He's a really nice guy. And he had a, bl- a really black nice cat, guy. just yeah. like my cat. And my cat had just died right before I got there. So the cat slept with me. It was awesome. Yeah. I like cats. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. puss, pussy of all kinds. <laughs> <laughs> Big ones, black little rat. ones, black. <laughs> I don't care. My eyes aren't so good. My hands work well. Stroke all the pussy. <laughs> a rip out. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Motorhead fan. I had a Motorhead tribute band for a while. That was fun. I saw Motorhead okay. on the Ace of Space Tour in San Francisco at the old Waldorf. Jack, have you been there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been there. And it was on awesome. the Ace of Space Thank Tour. It was, it was great. Okay, nice. You, you know, you're born to lose, but gambling's for food. But that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Yeah, I can't say yeah. anymore either. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, let me. Let me. But I, I, interview, nice I, I interviewed him twice, or had, shot him on my cable access TV show twice. That's on my YouTube yeah. channel. Oh, yeah. nice! He's a really nice guy. Uh, uh, yeah. He was really into rock and roll. That yeah. was the whole thing. We talked about Beatles really? and the Hendrix. And yeah, he really cared favorites. about that. Yeah, he like sold acid yeah. and worked for Hendrix, and he saw the Beatles yeah. before they had a record. It's like, oh my God, you were there. That's the kind of music I like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was, but after yeah. the show, I was in the dressing room, and my friend said, you should have Lemmy sign that Lemonade Pass. And... I said, no, I'm not going to bother him. I got to play his bass at Soundcheck. I've talked to him all day long. He's got other people bugging him. And I felt his arm come around my back. And he turns me around, gives me a hug, and says, you're all right, man. And signs my pass. He was right behind me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, cool. nice. was a cool guy, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So, um, well... I'll put this up and I'll put your YouTube channel link on the the, 
the bit. It'll be on YouTube, and it'll go to my yeah. tw 12 podcast outlets. And so right. I will I'll email you the link and uh, send it to Marco and get your name around. Great band. Yeah, cool. Great. Thanks, Great. Thanks, man. If, really you, uh, nice. if you have some addresses to play in uh, in America and we, we can stay with you, then uh, <laughs> that's okay with us. We were there. I live with my mother. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because I can't, open. I can't, we it's don't basement. have a room. I can't, I can't. No, no. There's no room okay, anywhere. Fine. In the garden. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, out in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> but we have coyotes, raccoons, and bunny oh, rabbits. Oh, <laughs> Just like them. cats. I love them. You can shoot them with them. <laughs> 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 Well, shit, well, man. Well, thanks very much. No, thanks, you, thank you very much. I have, I, it's been a, the last, everybody's on tour, so I haven't had any interviews for a while. So I appreciate this. And we've been talking to Indulgence. They got a new album out called Grim Times. Yeah. yeah. On Holland. Headbangers. From Holland. Metal from Holland. On Headbangers Records. And, uh, Thanks for coming on. We'll talk to you later, and nice to meet y'all. And keep Thanks on rocking. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, bye bye, bye bye, man. Bye bye. bye. bye.